the shepherd and philosopher by john gay sixteen eighty five to seventeen thirty two read for librivox dot org the shepherd and philosopher remote from cities lived a swain unvexed with all the cares of gain his head was silvered o'er with age and long experience made him sage in summer's heat and winter's cold he fed his flock and penned the fold his hours in cheerful labors flew nor envy nor ambition knew his wisdom and his honest fame through all the country raised his name a deep philosopher whose rules of moral life were drawn from schools the shepherd's homely cottage sought and thus explored his reach of thought whence is thy learning hath thy toil over books consumed the midnight oil hast thou old greece and rome surveyed and the vast sense of plato weighed hast socrates thy soul refined and hast thou fathomed tully's mind or like the wise ulysses thrown by various fates on realms unknown hast thou through many cities strayed their customs laws and manners weighed the shepherd modestly replied i ne'er the paths of learning tried nor have i roamed in foreign parts to read mankind their laws and arts for man is practised in disguise he cheats the most discerning eyes who by that search shall wiser grow when we ourselves can never know the little knowledge i have gained was all from simple nature drained hence my life's maxims took their rise hence grew my settled hate to vice the daily labors of the bee awake my soul to industry who can observe the careful ant and not provide for future want my dog the truest of his kind with gratitude inflames my mind i mark his true his faithful way and in my service copy tray in constancy and nuptial love i learn my duties from the dove the hen who from the chilly air with pious wing protects her care and every fowl that flies at large instructs me in a parent's charge from nature too i take my rule to shun contempt and ridicule i never with important air in conversation overbear can grave and formal pass for wise when man the solemn owl despise my tongue within my lips i reign for who talks much must talk in vain we from the wordy torrent fly who listens to the chattering pie nor would i with felonious slight by stealth invade my neighbor's right rapacious animals we hate kites hawks and wolves deserve their fate we do not just abhorrence find against the toad and serpent kind but envy calumny and spite bear stronger venom in their bite thus every object of creation can furnish hints to contemplation and from the most minute and mean a virtuous mind can morals glean thy fame is just the sage replies thy virtue proves thee truly wise pride often guides the author's pen books are affected as are men but he who studies nature's laws from certain truths his maxims draws and those without our schools suffice to make men moral good and wise moral nature teaches the truest philosophy end of poem this recording is in the public domain